Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I got a yarn haul to share with you. I went to Hobby Lobby earlier to get chunky yarn because I've been really liking working with chunky yarn ever since some got gifted to me and I made hats with it. And then I also went to Dollar Tree for a totally different reason. I ended up finding yarn there. I've seen other people finding the Just yarn and I found some so I was excited so I grabbed some. But I'll start with the Hobby Lobby yarn. I went there on purpose <laughs> to get some chunky yarn. Uh, because I wanted to make some more hats for me in different colors to, you know, for different outfits. <laughs> and I also got a ball to make Jesse a hat with. So this is the ball that I got to make Jesse a hat with. They were all 30% off, by the way. This is a gray color. The lining's kind of weird because it's kind of gloomy here. But it is Yarn B Baby B Sweet Delight Chunky. And the colorway is called Toy Elephant. It's a pretty gray color. It is 80% acrylic, 20% polyamide. It's a number five bulky, and there's 109 yards. So there's more than enough in here to make Jessie a nice little hat with a pom-pom on top. That was my plan. Then I got this one. This is, I had some this year another day so that had been gifted to me, but it was a different color. And I, I went to Hobby Lobby wanting to buy more of this yarn, and then I ended up buying some other ones. But this is Yarn B Soft and Sleek Chunky. Look at this color, it's so pretty. Uh, what is the color called? pumpkin spice <laughs> i love these orange colors it's just so pretty and this is a bigger ball it's 211 yards this is what i made my chunky yellow hat with the other day it's like a mustard color and headband so there'll be enough of this for me to make another uh slouchy hat and a headband <laughs> so i got that for me and then i got this one i thought this was just uh a really pretty yarn it's another yarn b i really like the yarn b yarn uh, it's called Tender Touch, and it's olive. It is a pretty cream color. It's really soft. It's got like a halo on it. And it is 100% acrylic, 135 yards, so it's enough to make a hat. It's really pretty. It's number five bulky. I like it. And then each of these two, I got two balls each because I wanted to make a hat and probably a cowl or some headbands or something. Just because I think they're pretty. <laughs> this one is, I love this yarn, Chunky. And the colorway is called Plumberry. It's 109 yards, 100% 100 acrylic. And it is a number five. <laughs> really pretty, uh, like, boys and berry color. I really like this. So I got that to make a hat and a cow, probably, or something. I don't even know. <laughs> and then again, another yarn bee. I got all mostly yarn bee. This is called Velvety Smooth Sparkle. The colorway is Blush. It's 161 yards each ball. And it's a number four. 94% polyester and 6% metallic polyester. Really pretty. I love pink. Pink is one of my favorite colors ever. <laughs> and it's shiny. So that makes it better. <laughs> I can't wait to rip into these and start making them. But that's what I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, that was yarn. I did get a couple other things. <laughs> Just these little things for Jesse to do over Christmas break. He likes doing these sticker build thingies. And then these were half off because it was all Christmas stuff. And then I got a puzzle. <laughs> And it was half off also. Really cute. Cookie puzzle. I think that's everything I have about me. Devin got a bunch of stuff, but we don't care about what Devin got, do we? <laughs> and then at the Dollar Tree, but they had yarn. And I'd seen other people uh, hauling this yarn, and mine never had it. And then today they had it, so I was super excited. I just got two of each color that I liked. And then I got some of the cotton. The cotton I'm going to use for giveaway in a future video. Because uh, I don't really like cotton that much, personally, to use it. But I just thought I'd grab some for giveaway. So these are the two balls of cotton that I got. They're Premier Just Cotton. And it's 104 yards each. A number four. It's 85% cotton, 15% polyester. So I got two in the colorway. It's called Brick. And it's kind of, you got like a tweedy look to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like not all the way the red color. And then I got two of the one called Light Denim. And again, it's kind of... Got that, what's that called? I don't even know what that's called. It's like not all the way dyed look. So these are gonna be for giveaways in the future. Uh, I just grabbed them because they were there. <laughs> and I figured I could use them as giveaway. I also grabbed two of the crochet hooks. They only had size uh, five millimeter, which is an H hook. They also had some knitting needles. And um, so I grabbed two of the five millimeter hooks because uh, I wanted to try one. And then the other one's going to be a giveaway. Go with that cotton yarn for a giveaway in the future. But I just wanted to try it out to see if it was, you know, pretty good. It, re it reminds me of a boy hook, the, the head. And uh, I don't know. It feels like it's going to be a perfectly fine hook to use just, you know, gently. I wouldn't 
like aggressively hold it, but still. All right, now the yarn. <laughs> this is the worsted white yarn, and it's called the Just Yarn. Also, uh, some of them say worsted, and some of them say a ran. I think it looks a little bit more chunkier, but it is a number four. Because when I saw it set in there, I thought it was chunky yarn. I got excited, but um, I think only the gray say a ran on it. Yeah, there's some of them say worsted. All right, anyways, I got two balls of the gray. <laughs> the gray is called Mist. And they are 112 yards each, number four, and it's 100% acrylic. Got two of the gray called Mist. Got two of this pretty orange. What's this one called? Marmalade. And it's the same, 131 yards. And this one's 112. Maybe this one is chunkier. Because it looks a little bit chunkier. That's what I was telling Devin. See? This is the, the one that says Iran. This is the one that says Worsted. But they only had the gray in it. It looks chunkier. I almost said it's chunky. It says it's a size 4, though. Right there. But I feel like it's chunkier. Anyways, this is 131 yards of ball. This is 112. Then I also got two of the yellow. <laughs> uh, it is called Maze. And it's 131 yards. I got two of the purple. And it is 131 yards. And it's called Royal P Purple. I have a hard time speaking today. <laughs> <laughs> My speech impediment's trying to rear its head. And then I got two of the blue. The blue is called Azure. And it is, where's the thingy? Also 131. So that's interesting. They both say they're size 4. Although one says worsted, one says Iran. But this one does look chunkier. Like when you look at it, it looks chunkier. But or I know Iran and like Australian yarns and European yarns, um, is number four and this says number four this says number four but this looks chunkier that's interesting it's also got less yardage which is typical of a chunkier yarn usually the fatter the yarn is the less yardage you get per ball hmm interesting <laughs> anyways well I was thinking about doing well first I just grabbed two of each of the color I like but then I, when I was looking at them I thought these three colors went really well together so I thought I might make something with them three that one's a little bit chunkier, so I don't know. And then I just have the blue and purple. I have no idea what I'll do with them. But, um, you know, they'd be good for amigurumis or uh, even little hat projects. It's really soft for a dollar yarn. I think it's soft. It's probably even softer when you wash it. And it is Premier, which is a decent brand, you know, Premier uh, yarn. Premier makes a lot of nice yarns. I don't know why I got the Dollar Tree. It's interesting. Hmm. It's made in Turkey. Is this one made in Turkey? I don't know. It's just so weird and it says it's number four, but it looks like a number five to me. See how different they look? It doesn't matter. But this is my yarn. I'm excited. I'm, I've been wanting to try this forever because I'm an immigrant maker. So cheap acrylic is perfect for me because <laughs> I can make all kinds of stuff out of it. It doesn't have to be the softest yarn in the world because it's going to be amigurumi. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I really like these three colors together. I think that would be a pretty something. I don't even know. Uh, it, you know, if I got two of each of those, it's quite a bit of yardage right there. Um, I can make something pretty good. I'm going to have to go back and get more. <laughs> I told Devin, uh, Devin jokingly said, well, let's get all of it because he's an enabler. He's a yarn enabler. He lets me buy any yarn I want, even though I don't need it. And I told him, I was like, if I had more extra money, I would buy all of it. They had three boxes of the uh, size four, and they had two boxes of the cotton, <laughs> and they were pretty much full. It only looked like people had grabbed just a few of them. And uh, I wanted it all so bad. Because, I, I mean, my mind, I thought, well, I could keep half of it and give half of it away. <laughs> and uh, cause I always think of that when I buy yarn. I'm like, well, I'll buy this for me and then I'll do this for a giveaway. Because I just like sharing yarn with people. And, and I like making people happy. <laughs> but this is, I actually like this. I don't know. I might have to go back and buy some more. I kind of spent a lot of money today on yarn, though. I don't usually buy yarn a lot. <laughs> and I ordered yarn yesterday from um, Premier. Was it? No, it wasn't Premier. It was Yarn Inspirations. Uh, I ordered seven of their mystery bags, <laughs> and some of those will be giveaways. Um, I might keep some of it, but I, I ordered it with the intention of giving it away. But I might pick some to keep, I don't know. But yeah, so I just wanted to share the yarn haul with you guys today. Just a quick little yarn haul. And it was all pretty cheap, I guess, because all these were dollar skeins. They're so pretty. Oops, I dropped one. <laughs> and then all the Hobby Lobby ones were 30% off, which isn't the best deal, but it's a pretty good deal. <laughs> I was excited with that. I'm going to try to eat these over into my clothes basket. I think I'm going to miss most of them. Yeah. All right, only one didn't make it. <laughs> and the one that's already in the floor. But I'll pick it up later. But anyways, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. <laughs> 
And uh, now I'm gonna hop off here because I got some work to do. I gotta catch up. I'm always busy. I wanna rip into this puzzle. I like doing puzzles, but the only place I have to put it is my work table. So that means I have to finish my work and clear it off the table before I can rip into this. But uh, it's only 500 pieces, so I don't think it'll be too hard. We used to, me and Devin used to do like 1500 piece puzzles all the time. And uh, they're a little hard. <laughs> but um, I bought this because it's so cute. And I'm not gonna lie, I bought it because this cookie right here is the Grinch. <laughs> It's so cute. I was looking at all of them. They had like Thomas Kincaid ones and um, they had a Polar Express one and I just, I wanted the cookies. I thought the cookies were cute. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I always babble so much. I'm sorry. But I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye guys.